Hey everybody, Carl here from the Airsoft Arena, Airsoft Headquarters. Today we're going to talk about the Saima 366 Full Metal Shotgun. As you can see already, it's not the same as most tri shots as it comes with a nice M4 style stock, uh, railed Picatinny upper. There's a built in Picatinny mount on the pump. Also, you notice it is key mod, so you can add any key mod attachments, or uh, it does come with an extra key mod plate adapter for any Picatinny rails. A um, couple of nice things. Comes with three shells. Comes with a vertical foregrip to attach to this if you so choose. And a handy dandy speed loader to load those shells. Uh, I'm gonna give it a couple shooting tests. We're gonna test the spread at distance. We're gonna give it a FPS check and I will talk about it further after shooting it. With most try shots, you gotta do the whole single BB to Get an accurate FPS reading. And away we go. 337. Sorry, this is gonna take a little bit. The last one. 294. I think I hit the side. Let's try that again. <laughs> um, well, say with this full metal one, it shoots a little bit higher than the plastic body ones but nothing too crazy. Where those shoot like 310, 315. It's just shooting, we had the two shots and they were both 337 and 338.2. That's a pretty good deviation, nothing crazy. Um, I can say cocking it is pretty easy and it is quite comfortable up in the shoulder. I have it all the way in, but as you can see, you can get it further out. Now, let's test the spread. We're shooting now at 26 feet. We have four pieces of paper to hopefully get a good picture of the spread. So without further ado, shot one. And let's, oh, I can see two and three. So that is your spread at 26 feet. The other one hit here and went right through. Let's take another one. Oh, that was dead center. <laughs> a little bit more of a spread. I think the other one went right through. Eh, not the wide or not the tightest group, but with the shotgun, you kind of want that bit of spread. So now let's take it to 40 feet. I missed, I think. Nope, I missed. That's just pizza grease. Damn it. We'll come back, <laughs> we'll cut that. <laughs> uh, just to let you guys know, there is no hop up adjustment, so I can't fiddle faddle to tighten this thing in or anything. Just kind of get what you get. <laughs> All right, 40 feet. One, two, three. That's a pretty wide, <laughs> that's wider than previous. Yeah, I don't have a ruler out, but that's most of my pen. This thing's rising. One, two, oh, look up. Then the third's gotta be up here. In conclusion, uh, very solid construction on this shotgun itself. Uh, not too difficult to pump. So if you're a younger person and don't have the same arm strength, um, it will probably help if you do put the vertical foregrip on there to assist in the pump. Um, with the spread test, at 26 feet, the groups are fairly tight, two, two inches or so. 
Uh, when you go back to 30 feet, it starts to spread out, say three, three and a half inches. And at 40 feet, maybe five inches or so. Um, the spreads themselves, uh, some shots it was an up and down spread, some shots it was a horizontal spread. So it's a shotgun, it leaves the barrel and it starts spreading out. Um, I like it. I don't know if I would personally get one because I already have too many guns, but if I were to get rid of something and want to get a shotgun, this would be one of the ones I would like to get. So I hope that was informative. If there are any questions, ask them in the comment section, section, shoot us a message, smash that like button, follow us, be cool. And if you have any ideas for stuff we should review, if we have it accessible, we'll give it a review. Until next time, I'm Carl, Airsoft Arena, Airsoft Headquarters, wishing you a super duper good time. Now, let's test the spread. I missed, I think. Nope, I missed. That's just pizza grease. Damn it. <laughs>